right behind me on Pike Street at the Mount Sinai Church. Mayor de Blasio expected to join many other religious leaders for a memorial service that is set to begin at approximately 730. But this case overall, now that it's almost a year old, has been polarizing not only here on Staten Island, but in the city as well as nationwide. And keep in mind that as one chapter closed last night, a pivotal chapter, there are still many questions that many are hoping to get answered here. Money is not justice. Money is a recognition of the loss of the family. The family that Reverend Al Sharpton is referencing to is that of Eric Garner. And as for the money that does not translate to justice, that is the $5.9 million settlement between New York City and the estate of Garner that was announced Monday night. Gwen Carr is Garner's mother. This settlement that we get, people, we're walking up and down the street, they're saying congratulations. Don't congratulate us. This is not a victory. The victory will come when we get justice. Then we want to have a victory party. The justice they, along with others, are seeking are federal charges brought against NYPD officer Daniel Pantaleo, the man who Gardner died in the hands of on July 17th of last year, and who was also cleared by Staten Island Grand Jury less than five months later. 11 times he said he couldn't breathe. And they chose not to indict. Where is the justice? In order to ramp up their call for criminal charges to be levied against Pantaleo, a rally is being planned for Saturday at Cadman Plaza in Brooklyn, home of the U.S. Eastern District Justice Center. There needs to be structural change and they need federal intervention where local counties will not protect its citizens based on local politics. At one point, Esau Garner spoke passionately and candidly about how her husband died on a Staten Island sidewalk. They treated my husband like an animal, and I think that they give animals more respect than they give humans. But it was afterwards that she personally shared with me what the loss of her husband and its aftermath has taught her. In the past year, I've learned that my expression of my pain and my loss is what's going to get me through the day. You know, it keeps me strong. It keeps my kids strong. But at the same time, she conveyed that there are moments where the strength that has fueled her simply is not there. Sometimes I feel like I just want to curl up and join him. And I know that I can't. I have my children and my grandchildren to live for. But I felt like when he stopped breathing, I stopped breathing. Again, it has been a challenging time for many people who have been closely involved with this case. The key question, again, that they are hoping to get addressed here sometime in the near future from the feds, whether or not there will be a special prosecutor brought in to examine the potential for the charges that has been discussed at the federal level being brought against Pantaleo. Again, the religious memorial service taking place this evening here on Staten Island at approximately 730. We will have complete coverage coming up tonight on the Pix 11 News at 10 o'clock. Reporting live from Staten Island, Mario Diaz, Pix 11 News.